Welcome back everybody. It is Friday, November 17th, just after three o'clock and we are back at Disney Springs, most likely for the last time. We wanted to do a few things before we left. Mainly, main goal today is to make it to the Lego store. The last couple times we were here, it was far too busy and we thought during the day would be a better time. We're also going to try to hit up Gideon's one last time to see if there is a decent or shorter wait. And then tonight, we're going to be over at Disney's Animal Kingdom for a special group event, private event in Dino Land USA, where we'll have special access to uh, the Chester and Hester's area, as well as Expedition Everest. So that'll be a little bit later, but right now we're at Disney Springs, just um, trying to kill a couple hours. Not a great sign that coming around the corner from Morimoto, Asia, I see the family right at the back of the line to Gideon's. Could be a 20, 25 minute wait. For Christmas, Disney Springs has the Christmas tree stroll. So this is the cocoa tree. We probably won't have it on our list to get all of the trees, but as I see them, I'll stop and take a look at them. So Mary's taking one for the team. She's gonna stand in the 40 minute Gideon's line. And in the meantime, the kids and I are going to hit up the Lego store to see what uh, all we're gonna put on our Christmas lists. There was no wait to get in, but there's certainly a lot of people in here. It's extra loud. They've got a barn fan blowing to try to dry the floor since it was raining and the floor was all wet from the foot traffic. Nolan brought me over to show me the Lego Concord jet, but I'm more interested in the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. That's what you need to be getting. It has less pieces than the Concorde, but it's the same price. Well, it's pretty cool. There's the Titanic. Wow. Nolan, could you build that in Emlyn's room? Awesome. The Jack Cruiser. This one's the Silver Tuna. The Home Alone House. That's cool. That's a mighty Bowser. He's almost as big as you, Emily. Gavin's loving the Super Mario area. Ah, uh, the good old Razor Crest. May she rest in peace. Oh, and they've got our favorite Ugnaught, Queel. Who also left us. On the perimeter walls, they have the different movie or IP franchises and here's Star Wars and this has been the Millennium Falcon the 7541 piece has always been the crown jewel that we hope to find <laughs> somewhere for cheap one day I didn't know that they had Chewbacca that's pretty cool and there's our Wookiee finished and they have the UCS right here. Mandalorian helmet, Vader's helmet. Pretty good on the price points. All the way from 1999 to, well, most within 1999 to 199. Then you'll have your occasional. 8.50 and so on. Hey Dad. 
and moving on to Marvel. Nolan, I want you to build me a shield. Insider members, it's on sale. I don't know what it takes to become an insider member. Cool. Ah, Forrest Hammer, Mjolnir. It's actually Jane's hammer now, right? Well, she's dead, so. I am Groot, and they've got a Venom Groot. Except the normal Groot is more expensive. The original oh, Nintendo oh, Entertainment oh, System. God, this had Gavin's eye since we walked through the door. For two sixty nine ninety nine, steep price, but that's a pretty cool set. They have this cool video screen that allows your Legos or makes your Legos come to life. I think the camera picks up on the packaging imagery. Let Austin try it. There's Austin's with his avatar set. That's pretty cool. All right, we finally finished up at the Lego store. Kids did some damage, but they stayed within their predetermined budgets for what we gave them on the trip. Kinda. They're close. So, what did you get? I got a Sonic, Emily got a Frozen set for 10. Same, 10. Austin got a Jurassic Park set from the first movie. All right, so enough of the Lego stuff. We're on our way to the year-round Christmas shop to look for the kids' uh, yearly ornament. The Rainforest Cafe Volcano is back up and running. Our first couple times Wait here a minute. Wait a minute. this week had scaffolding and was not uh, erupting. I thought the Rainbow's Cafe was also at Animal Kingdom. They've got two. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, if I were to stand around here, I might see it erupt, but uh, oh. I ain't got time for that. And we are at Disney Days of Christmas, where it's Christmas all the time. Which some of my neighbors and for as long as they leave up the Christmas lights, I think it's kind of the same thing. In the princess section, with all these kids and for as big and heavy as these ornaments are, we're gonna need to get a bigger tree. Here the Star Wars. Got Queen Amidala. Yoda raising the roof. Oh, Obi Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Is it fun having all these brothers? <laughs> and uh, Dagobah. These are cool attraction ornaments. Peter Pan's flight. You've got Hoop De Doo at Pioneer Hall. That would be a cool one for us to get. Pirates, Space Mountain. They've got the train station. Um, that's the one we stopped in on the Evelyn's birthday video. Head down and check that video out. Yeah, that's cool. So check out the video we do on Emily's birthday. We stopped having the Voyage of Little Mermaid on that, but we got moving again. Uh, yeah, what ornaments are you settling with? The Remy's Ratatouille Adventure one. And, and guys, you might not like this, but. <laughs> Owen's getting a stitch, and then Austin's getting. Iron Man with an Iron Man 
Um, snowman. And I got pet some rats in two days. Like, you got that while we were at yeah. Test Track, right? Yeah. And Epcot? And then Emelyn's trying to get everything, so yeah. I said only one. We'll see if I win. Emelyn needed to see more princesses. Well, technically queens, I guess, at this point. We are at a nice and wet Animal Kingdom, just like we left it the other night. It wasn't supposed to rain afternoon today, but here we go. So we are being, or we just went through security and we're gonna be escorted back to the party in Dino Land. Another beautiful entrance. Unobstructed. checked in we've got our candy dandy wristbands and just waiting to be called back about 10 minutes before it officially starts and here's our group uh, apparently it's half the amount of people that were supposed to be here but most likely got scared off because of the rain hey guys these are really uncomfortable i know i don't like them they're uncomfortable but maybe them. i made his too tight we are checked in. Our group is being escorted back. Dino Land is bumping. They took us backstage. I didn't film it. They didn't tell me I couldn't, but all of the cool people say you're not supposed to film, so there we are. The Gallimimus all decked out. We've got a DJ. As you're hanging out with us tonight, if you're feeling a little hungry, make sure you stop over at that restaurant of Soros, grab yourself a nice bite to eat, some snacks, take your friends with you. And all of those awesome attractions we have are open for you tonight. Check out Triceratops Spin, and of course, Expedition Everest, one of my personal favorites, is open for all of you here this We have this all basically to ourselves. Not just that, but we can make our way over to Expedition Everest as well. Our first stop is going to be Triceratops Spin. seen in the past. We got our first ride in on Triceratops Spin, so we're going to kind of get the lay of the land. Food available is in Restaurant Asaurus, so we're walking over there now to see what they have for us. Restaurant Asaurus decked out with a crap load of lights.
Here's the spread. They've got chicken bites, tater pops. These are fresh out of the fryer, so please be careful. Fresh out. Hold the fryer. Ride one ride and we're all starved. So we're just chilling out inside of Restaurantosaurus. Never know when it's our last time before a complete retheme of all of this. Not only do they have chicken nuggets, but with the tater tots, they've got a poutine bar, so you can put poutine gravy and toppings on your tater tots. How's your food, bud? Good. Just scooping that cheese. I'm still eating my food, but everybody else found where they got the Mickey bars. And Owen's just staring at it and grabbing for it. <laughs> Mom's gotta be fast. Not for you. Are you team ice cream bar or ice cream sandwich? I like myself an ice cream sandwich. It's, it's the best of both worlds. It's got the nice soft cookie on the outside and the ice cream in the inside. I had the sandwich last time. So. Mommy didn't bring the wipes in here. She looks like George Costanza <laughs> eating chocolate at the U.S. Tennis Open. <laughs> Holy cow, it's a scorcher. Boy, I bet you that guy could cover a lot of court. Hey buddy, they got a new invention. It's called a napkin. Before we leave Restaurantosaurus, we want to take a look at some of the skeletons on the wall, fossils, and yeah, they're not real anyways. Look, I have 40 pictures in my wallpaper. Do you see these, Austin? Styracosaurus, T-Rex. Hey, look at those two dinosaurs are fighting over a cheeseburger. Yeah, I see. Leaving Restaurantosaurus, we've been told that there are some characters out. So we're gonna go back to Chester and Hester's and see what's going on. There's Chip and Dale. But the kids wanted to ride the ride instead. Oh no, we're gonna go see Chip and Dale. They've got all the carnival rides open. They, they aren't doing prizes, but the carnival rides are free for play. Oh, this is so cool. They're in their Dino Bash outfits. That's a cool thing. Well, welcome back, Spinners. If you'd like to re-ride, you are more than welcome to Owen is staring like those are the biggest stuffed animals he's ever seen. Thanks guys. Thank you.
So cha-cha slide going on. I'm not the biggest cha-cha slider. So we go catch up to the family. Had to use the little brontosaurus's room, but uh, we're gonna head over to the Expedition Everest area to see what's going on. And the kids couldn't make it past fossil fueler. I thought number eight had it. I still submit that I love Dino Land, especially Chester and Hester's roadside carnival. Many people think it's too cheap for a Disney park, but I don't think that they understand the theming and how it ties into the Dino Institute and how Disney World in general has so many offshoot merchandise stores that people put up to capitalize off of Disney World that the Chester and Hester capitalization of, of the Dino Institute is a perfect synopsis, but that flies right over everybody's head. Hey, Gavin won. You all did it. I know my job. Good job, bud. Thanks. Good job. You all did so good. One more time. Go crazy. We are walking under a a patasaur. Hey, don't run! Brachiosaur. A patasaur. It's got a flat head. So here is our virtually empty pathway as we make our way over to Asia and Expedition Everest. Certainly not as family of a friendly a ride as Triceratops Spin. But we're gonna see who wants to ride it, can ride it, will ride it. This is the building, the um, theater in the wild, where they normally have Finding Nemo, the Big Blue and Beyond show. That's where we had our educational experience on Monday night, where we were here to see the Dr. Zach and Dr. Jeff featured in the Disney Plus show. Um, the magic behind Disney's Animal Kingdom. So that was an hour and a half lecture that was wildly cool. No, actually every pun intended. And the reveal. The Forbidden Mountain. Wow, this is so cool. So Mary is going on with Austin, and then when they're done, we're gonna switch and I'm gonna go on with Nolan. Meanwhile, Emmeline and Gavin are so frightened for them because it's dark, it's scary. It's one giant mountain.
this is so cool. It's so dark. And there's nobody here. The pool I want to see that gift. So Austin already rode it with mom. Said he didn't like it, but he really wants to ride it again with me. Because so. I want to see that gift shop again. We'll you want to see the gift shop again. That's uh, a heck of a reason why to do it. That's where we enter? Wow. On the back? I don't know that I've ever been through the normal queue. Usually it's just been the lightning lane or the old fast pass. Be a lot of cool stuff to see while you're waiting in the long line. But I'm not going to complain. There's an actual Yeti footprint. Wow. And just like that. We're going on the back. Man, that was so much fun. Did you like it? That was your second time riding it. That was more better than last time. Yeah, we rode in the back car and seeing Spaceship Earth from the distance all lit up and just seeing the whole property. It was all pretty cool. Gotta get him a picture with every stuffed animal ever known. All right, we're good. All right, we are. What's up? What? Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, just one. Austin is worried about me being distracted. I'm always distracted, but we are leaving Asia. Expedition Everest. I rode it once. Mary got it twice. Austin rode it twice, as did Nolan. So. We are making our way back. There's an hour left. What do you want? A picture of that? That's a good picture. All right. At least you got the white snow. Yep, you got the white snow. So everybody that wanted to ride got to ride a couple times. And we're, we've got about an hour left in our party. So we're making our way back to Dino Land to finish the night see what's going on with the characters one more time of spin. yeah at least one more time of triceratops spin oh guys the tree of life oh my god hey mama and there is our only view since we came through the back entrance the, uh, the tree of life Making our way back into oh, this dinosaur is a girl. Kids want to play carnival games for the next hour. Yes. 
instead of the Macarena, they've got a remix to This is the Tiki Room. Fascinated by a uh, can of spray. What's he doing? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty. 
princess is. Uh-huh. Beautiful. It's Chester here, reminding you for your safety to stay seated with that seatbelt fastened cooler and tight as you spin. Whilst you're spinning, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside and be sure to go for it. Whoa! That first bump just, ugh. When they got to a complete stop, make sure you have all your belongings and then walk to the exit gate. All right, this is where you grab your best friend. Hold on close, sing them these words. Traveling homeschoolers, get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, let's go. Let's go steady. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. And be sure to watch your children. Para su seguridad, permanezca seguro y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro de los brazos. Last trip around. One more time, five more Right, when that beat drops, I want to see who the craziest person here. Chester and Hester say, see you real soon. Oh my goodness, that's right. A big shout out to all of you. Thank you all so much for joining us here in Dino Land USA. I'm DJ Jordan Gallagher. Of course, as you're exiting this evening, you're gonna wanna make sure you follow those friends right there with those red wands that kinda look like lightsabers. Thank you all so much. Sing this last one out with us. That's right, thank you all so much. Of course, on your way out, make sure you follow those red wands. Going past dinosaur, hopefully it's the not Hopefully this is not the last time we're seeing this as dinosaur. It does Why? not need to be an Indiana Jones attraction. Why? They need to leave it like it is. What do you mean? There's our dino. What do you mean? I'll tell you in the Oh car. yeah, there's our dino. Classic. We are making our way out of Animal Kingdom. Our three hours has come and gone super quickly. Hey, there's the penguins. Or not the penguins, the um, flamingos and ducks. But anyway, we're making our way out. It's pretty cool having the park all to ourselves. It's park uh, three out of four that we've been able to close down this week. Yeah, guys, go get your pictures. Uh, it's closed, Pete, go. Whoa. Nice private photo op. Quarter after 12, kids are gonna crash, but they're still expelling their last bits of energy.
such a gorgeous tree. Got Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore, Kanga. There's a crocodile. There's Chippendale going Boy, around in circle. Moving. So later today, we're going to head over to Magic Kingdom because it's the 18th. Yep. It's tomorrow already. <laughs> and I was love like eight. Yeah. Okay, with the first one away. I gotta take this. Well, that's going to wrap it up today for us at my favorite park, Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is my least favorite because it doesn't have that much rides. Magic Kingdom has the most. Hollywood Studios has some pretty fresher good ones like Toy Story Mania, um, the Mickey and Minis, and yeah, those will be crushers for me in a good way. I like Animal Kingdom for the theme, the design, and just the story of conservation and um, just really how conservation and, and call to action. So for those reasons why is why this is my favorite part. Fun fact, did you know there's actually a Yeti and Matronic in from Expedition Everest? You can see it. It's just all broken, it won't work and stuff. It's 12.21 a.m. And usually when we close down a park, they're out picking up wheelchairs. At this hour, they have the Zamboni out, basically street sweeping the entire parking lot. That's gonna do it for us from the parking lot at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We had a fantastic, fun, probably one of the most what's going to be one of the most memorable times that we've had at Disney, the traveling homeschoolers private event in Dino Land USA, where we got to ride Triceratops spin and expedition Everest on repeat, um, as much as we wanted. Uh, they had food, Mickey bars, Mickey ice cream sandwiches, and a DJ and not only a DJ, but we also had Dino Land's, Dino Rama's own Chip and Dale in their dinosaur costumes. So it was a fun day. It was a wonderful night. The kids stayed up late and they're gonna crash in the car on the way home and we'll have to deal with the consequences. But for now, we're just going to enjoy it and, and be glad that we were able to have this memory. So thanks for following along and we'll see you next time.